On today's video, we're gonna teach you step by step how you can create something like this. Wow. Through Webflow. Stick around. What's going on, everyone? My name is RR Abrat, and I'm the founder and creative director at Abrat Creative, a small design agency focused on helping faith based ministries and nonprofits. But on Instagram and YouTube, I like to teach about the process and the business of web design, pretty much how you can create websites and how you can make a living doing just that. Today's just gonna be a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on a pretty cool menu animation that you can use for your website. Let's hop right into it. We're gonna start out by adding, by use, by pressing, sorry, the plus button right here and scroll all the way down. These are the different elements that you can add with the Webflow. And by the way, if you're just coming here for your first time, I, ever since last year, I started designing websites through Webflow and it's been an amazing experience. I came from an, a coding background, which is HTML, CSS and, and all that. But when you are coming from that, it's actually really easy to get into Webflow. I mean, it just took me like probably a couple hours and I fully understood the system already. So that was a big help to me. Anyways, I'm gonna get myself out of the way here because we need to see our component, which is nav bar. So go ahead and hold nav bar, drag it, put it right there. I'm gonna put myself back in the little corner like the good boy that I am. That, I don't know why I just said that. All right, so nav bar, we're gonna make this, the background is black, I like to, make my uh, backgrounds black on these things. Uh, I just, I'm just filling it right now. And we're gonna give this a name. Oh, it already has a name, navbar, good. You wanna make sure you name your sections, your styles, components. It's very, very important. Um, one quick thing, quick tip you wanna add is make sure you add a 10 pixel padding. Just add some padding around. You don't want the, the logo to be flush right there. You know, let your elements breathe a bit. Space is good, just remember that. So as you can see right now, we have our menu here. It is, um, right now it's black uh, because we made the background black. But I wanna do, this right here is where you put the logo. So I have a logo already here preset. Uh, this is so just some random church logo that I saw. And if you're wondering why I'm using church logos, I usually design websites for churches and nonprofits. And I thought this was a pretty cool design, so I'm gonna use that. Now, the width for this is we're gonna go ahead and make this around 125 pixels and see how that goes. That's a little too small. Let's go 175. There you go. That looks really good. Awesome. Now, let's look at these links. Right now, they're dark. We don't want that. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna name this nav link. And I'm gonna show you why we want that. We're gonna go ahead and name all of these links nav link. And the reason why we want to do that is check this out. Once you change the color of one, you change the color of all of them. And that is your style. Makes it really easier for us. I don't like Arial, uh, not the mermaid. I'm talking about the font. Um, now we're gonna make this Lotto. I like a Lotto, make this bold. Good. So there's our three different menu items. So we have our menu here. We're gonna go ahead and add a section just so it doesn't look plain or bare. So I'm gonna go add a section right here. And we're gonna call this section, oh, what just happened to my browser? And we're gonna go ahead and call this section header. And I'm gonna add a background to this. To do the background, these are your tools right here. Go scroll down and click the plus button. As you click that, the background menu pops up and click choose image. And then I have an image here preset. It always defaults to tile. To be honest, Webflow, I don't know why you guys do that. Uh, just do cover. Well, you know what? I get it, because you have backgrounds, whatever. Um, go ahead and use cover, and we'll put it at the center of the background. Now, as you can see, it's short. So we're gonna make the height of this around 700 pixels. There you go. That looks pretty good, right? So now that we went ahead and put our nav bar right here, we're gonna check out how it looks like on the tablet or on mobile phone. So go ahead and click up here your different browser views and we're gonna click tablet. And as you notice, it becomes an icon. You can barely see it right now because it's dark and I'm not gonna change the color because we're actually gonna change this menu later on to something else. 
So you can actually change this option if you want right here. If you click the gear menu, you have these different options right here. You can actually change it. And if you want it that on tablet is still showing the actual words, you can just kind of move this cursor right there and see how it does that. But we're gonna go ahead and have it where it's a menu on a tablet as well. So we're gonna open the menu and see how this menu looks like right now. If you click this preview preview button, click it. That's how the menu looks like. It's okay. It'll do the job done. You know, I'm not bagging on your Webflow, but I think it could be better. All right. So we're going to go ahead and work on that now. Excuse me. So as we're back here, go to gear menu, click open menu so we can see what the menu looks like. We are able to edit it how we want it. Go back to the style and go down. And what's cool about this is it's only affected Whenever you mess with a style, it's only affected with whatever browser you're in. So if it's it, whatever you mess with here, it's not going to happen here, um, but it will happen to the other smaller browsers next to it. So that's really, really cool thing with Webflow. It's automatic right like that. So we're going to make this menu. Actually, we're going to make it fixed because we want it to fill up the whole screen. Right now it's not. So go to position, go put it to fixed. And if you just see right here, you have these options click the very right one which says full and bam there you go now it's taking up the whole screen now i want to go ahead and make this background black scroll down here click uh, go to backgrounds and go where it says color we're going to make it black and with a little bit of transparency we're going to put a tr an opacity of 80. Oop, not 800 80. there you go that's good enough there now we want this to be black as well. So we'll go to menu button and we'll go to the background and make it black. Okay. Now we don't want this to be up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the menu and we're going to make the padding. Uh, we're going to add a padding on the top of about 300. No, that's way too, that's a little too high. We're going to make it 200. That looks about right. And we're gonna make the font a little bigger here. Uh, let me see. Typography. Are we able to do that on this one? Or like 40? There you go. We're gonna make it 40 pixels with a height of about 60 pixels. You wanna make it a little bigger because you wanna be able to like click it, you know, with your thumb. So I'm gonna do that like that. And we're gonna change it to Lotto. Yeah. That looks good to me. Hope it looks good to you guys over there. Now, so we see what it looks like. If you look at the preview button, if you click this, and there you go, it scrolls down just like that. Now, as you notice, you're not able to scroll back, okay? And there's a really simple fix to that, and that is called the Z index. Because right now, your nav menu has a Z index. A Z index is um, when you put something on a higher Z index, it means it's going to be in front of it, in front of it all the time. So we're going to go ahead and make the menu, uh, the nav menu have a Z index. So go to the right side, go back to position and go to Z index and make it one. And then you want to make the menu button have a higher Z index of two. Okay. So now when you preview it, you still have the menu button right there and you're able to click it. And if you want to go ahead and keep the logo, we can go ahead and make the brand as well with a Z index of two. So now whenever you click it, the brand stays up there. So that's a really, really cool part about that. Now we're going to go ahead and change up the menu button. This menu button is okay. It's not the best. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a Lottie animation. I have, I went ahead and uh, got a preset Lottie animation here. And if you go over here, which is the Lottie, and this is this animation right here. And I'm going to show you how you can find this animation. Now, there's this really cool website called LottieFiles.com. You can search for all kinds of Lottie animations you can use for your Webflow website. It's really easy to apply it on your Webflow uh, project. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to search bar and search for hamburger. If you don't know, that's what they call these mobile menu icons is hamburger. And as you can see, what you search, you have all these um, Lottie animations that people have created. 
I never saw this actual hamburger that turns to bacon. That's really cool. Maybe we should use that one. That'd be perfect for like a menu uh, for a restaurant or something like that, right? But as you can see, this is the one that I used that I personally liked. So we're gonna go ahead and click this one right here. As you can see, it's black. Now on my project, I wanted it to be white. I didn't want it to be black. So we're gonna go ahead and by the way, what's cool is you can kind of see what it looks like in, in some backgrounds. You can kind of um, uh, even put the hex code right there. So that's really cool. But I'm gonna go and click edit layer colors. Once you click that icon, it takes to a page called Lottie Editor. And as you can see here, you're able to edit your Lottie animation. Now I wanted it to be white. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the left side right here where it says icon, click that. And then see all these black colors, change all of it to white. So let's do that here really quick. And go back, right now you can't see it, of course. So let's make the background black. And now you should be ready to go. So go ahead and go down right here, go export as Lottie JSON. JSON is a type of file, .json, that Webflow uses to, to be able to upload and, and use these Lottie animations. So go ahead and click this right here, and you should be downloading it in a couple of seconds. So click right here, and there you go. Now go ahead and upload that to Webflow. So now that we have a lot of animation, we've edited it and we want it exactly how we want it. We're gonna go ahead and drag this and put it right at the menu button. We're gonna put it inside it. And there is our Lottie animation, okay? Now let's go see it. There's our animation and that's what it looks like. Now it's a little too big. So what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna go to the menu button and right now it has a padding of 80, 18 all around. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and make it five. We're gonna make it smaller all around so that we have proper spacing. And the Lottie animation, you could also, uh, you can also, well, actually, we're just gonna go ahead and make it zero because I think the Lottie animation is already big enough that you don't need any extra padding around it. And the reason why people have that padding is really basically because of the, the button. If you have a small menu, and that means your button has to press that small button like exactly. So when you have a big, a bigger padding around a square, then you can just kind of press in that direction and it'll open. But I believe our menu is big enough that you don't need that already. So we're gonna preview this and notice how um, right now it's really just playing the animation. It's not a clickable animation. I mean, you'll click it, but it's not doing the animation like how we want it, okay? And what you wanna do, by the way, if you're working with Webflow, it's good to like always preview it and see how your work is doing, what it looks like to make sure that it is correct, okay? So what we need to do is teach Webflow that if we click this icon, we want the animation to start. So go ahead and go to Lottie Animation and then go to the top right here on the right side and click the lightning bolt. That is our interactions button. That's our animations and these cool animations that you see is how you can kind of get to these things. Go ahead and click the plus button on the element trigger. And we're gonna click mouse click. We're gonna select mouse click because we wanted that whenever we click the lot of animation, it starts the animation and when we second click it, it reverses the animation, right? One thing real quick, trigger settings should only be on tablet and below. We don't need it on desktop. So go to first click on, on action, select that and click Lottie playback. Integration should be Lottie playback. And what we wanna do is go ahead and leave that. And then on second click, which is when you click away from the menu, we're gonna click Lottie playback as well, but we want it reversed, right? We want it to go from X to this menu right here. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and preview our animation so far. If you click it, notice the animation plays. And when you close it, the animation plays. Now, as you notice, it's still kind of weird, right? It's too slow. The, sec the, the animation is slow and the animation delayed. That's because of how the animation was set. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to the gear menu right here. And instead, click off use built-in duration. The built-in duration is this and this number right here. And we want to make it something short. So you want to play around with it, make it something less. Right now it's 2.1, whatever. So let's make it one. And let's see how that looks. It's a little better, but I think it's still a little too slow for my liking. So we're going to make it 
0 0.5. There you go. Sorry about that. Okay. See it? Here we go. And there you go. I think that's a lot better. And you can kind of test this as well in a, in a mobile menu right here. So we're going to go and check mobile menu and see how that looks. Awesome. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. If you have any uh, things that you want to learn about Webflow, I would love to to help you learn it. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something from that video. If you did, would you be someone really cool and click that thumbs up button and also click the bell so you can be notified of any videos coming out and also consider subscribing for weekly content about the process and the business of web design. See you guys again next time. Peace.